Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here. Thanks for watching Toxins Arcade, and we have a new video today. Analog OS 2.0 has been released, and this is going to add some features mostly for the Open FPGA. Now, this is supposed to enable you to add screen filters. Um, so, I'm going to check out some of them here. Uh, do note that these are not added by default except for on some cores. As you can see here, I try it on the Game Gear core, and right away it says normal when I try to change the screen settings which wasn't there before so that does mean that something did change however it appears that and this is also in the notes whoever develops these uh, cores has to update the cores themselves analog doesn't do it for them so they will have to go into uh, you know the developers are gonna have to update their own cores and they're gonna have to add that feature so most likely we're still gonna have to wait for that However, there are a few cores that do have it um, on by default. Here, I'm trying it again on the Game Boy Core. And unfortunately for the Game Boy Core, it is not there. So that's a bust. Um, I do have the EverDrive, so that's not an issue for me. But as of right now, that needs to be updated. Um, nothing in the display mode settings for Game Boy. So we're gonna try a, another core. Um, the one core that we do have working on some is the, uh, I believe it is the CRT Trinitron mode. So this time I'm going to try Genesis. Maybe we'll get lucky with this one. And we'll, let's try Aladdin and see if we get any video option cores here. So, did get lucky and we got one working. So this is the CRT Trinitron. Um, actually not really liking this core at the moment because it shrinks the screen down a little bit and makes it even smaller. Also, you notice that it is a little bit darker. Um, that's because it adds these very uh, light um, CRT style scan lines in it, which I do like, but I don't like that it shrinks the screen. Also on camera, you can't even see it. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys.